You millenniums. They're good at taking shits in the bathroom. That's it. See, they might be good at cleaning the bathroom, then. No, they don't. They don't even flush down their feces. How's Blue Star can I help you? Uh, yes, who am I speaking with? Natalie. Natalie. Hi, Natalie. My name's Helen Clinch, and I've got a couple freshmen there at Mm -hmm. Full disclosure, um, I actually uh, donated quite a bit of money to to get my kids access to the schooling there. Uh, They're not very smart. Um, So I kind of just want to get them, you know, some books and clothes that, you know, make them seem like they fit in, that they're students there, that they have high grade point averages. So what would be some starting books and college gear for them? I mean, it all depends on what their majors are. Oh, my God. They haven't even made it that far. I mean, right now, all my daughter does is color. And, you know, I mean, she's 18 and she likes to color. So her major is probably going to be nothing. Mm, she'll be an art major. She's not, but she's not good. She's not talented. Hey, that's what you go to school for to learn. What was your major? I didn't go to college. Oh, I, no judgment here. I didn't go to college either. I met my husband at 13 years old and got married at 14 and um, had my first child at 14 and a half. Oh, okay, okay. These millenniums with their phones and their yep. extra legs. I saw people are actually trying to get uh, extra implanted legs and boobs or an extra arm just to be different. Oh, wow. Some people want a third prosthetic limb, you know, just an extra leg hanging off their hip. And I'm just like, you millenniums. They're good at taking shits in the bathroom. That's it. See, they might be good at cleaning the bathroom, then. No, they don't. They don't even flush down their feces. (laughs) Anyway. My daughter has the body of a 90-year-old, so I said, you know, you have to get a degree. Well, it has to be something that she wants to go in the field of. But if they come in, could you tell them, I know your mama, and I've got an eye on you, ugly? (laughs) I would not put the ugly because God doesn't make ugly people. You're too sweet. Do you go to church? I used to. I grew up in the church. Oh, my gosh. Did you sing? No, ma'am. Oh, my God. I used to sing, and, you know, if you'd give me your ear, I'll sing you a little something that I used to sing. But um, this is just a song I made up myself. I am pretty. I am gorgeous. I am stunning. I've got the legs of a model. I am gorgeous. My face is better than yours. I am pretty. Do you like it? Yeah, that's cute. Thank you. I would not sing it to my kids. I, my kids started off, my daughter started off pretty, and I don't think she's pretty anymore. And my son, I guess what I think he looks like is a goblin. So I don't know what to say about them. We can't force our kids to do certain things they don't want to do. We just have to let them live their life. Well, see, my mom pushed me into beauty pageants at, at six months old. I mean, I was the first Miss Baby, Texas. Did you like it? Yeah. You know what's funny is I do remember when I won my first crown at six months, and I know that's hard to believe, but I do remember them putting the tiara on my baby's skull, and I got this sash, you know, that said Miss Baby, Texas, and I remember feeling like I am the most beautiful baby. And I actually remember going in my diaper. But did you, you like it? Well, I liked that men found me attractive, and I liked that other women were jealous of me. But, you know, I was actually, like you heard, a very good singer. I was about to get signed at RCA by um, a very famous record producer, Clive Davis, and he signed Debbie Gibson instead of me. Do you know who Debbie Gibson is? Yep, I remember her. I was uh, responsible for burning her house down because she got the record contract and I didn't. Oh, Jesus. Well, you know, you have to you have to seek revenge in life on bitches. Mm-hmm. 
Well, if you're interested, I'm doing an online Zoom beauty pageant uh, this weekend. If you search Miss Old Woman Atlanta. Miss Old Woman Atlanta. When I hear that song, I'm going to know who it is. Yes, you will. I am pretty. I am gorgeous. Ooh, my son just walked in. I got to let you go. All right, then. You have a nice one. You have a wonderful day, too. Vote for me in the pageant. I will. I love you. Love you, too. Bye. It was so bad. Oh, my, oh my God. God. She was so great. Oh. I mean, I talked to, like, probably three angels today, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs>